You know, we hear all sorts of interesting stories as to why we have a ban list, but this one might be leading up from Konami itself. Make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. Now, I've been molding up the last week that there hasn't been a ban list. I made that pretty apparent with the amount of videos that we've made on this channel. But an interesting comment showed up on my video talking about how the UK is going through a supply issue right now with Power of the Elements. Now, I'm not to say that I'm, I'm honestly surprised about this, but when you look back at the last year for the US um, in terms of our supply chain issues, um, let's be honest here, it was frustrating seeing tins roll out in the multiple waves. Do you remember how much product that we had to sit through last year that was just all mixed up, all right? We had release dates last year getting shoved so far back that it was absurd. Now, once you rolled on in to the later half of 2022 here, things at least on our side of the market look like they've shifted here. Well, this comment that caught my eye said, here in the UK, some stores are still waiting for their power of the elements supply. It has been almost seven, eight weeks since the release of Power of the Elements. And you're telling me that there are issues within the supply chain outside the US? Um, that's actually a very interesting thing to know in terms of the market, which means that if stores are still waiting on, I, I would say that this is probably more or less an allocation type of thing, or maybe it was just stores got straight shafted at the beginning, but I'm, I'm kind of curious about that. Common also says, I'm waiting on a case. Uh, it would make sense that they're holding off uh, till the relevant supply has had time to circulate the community. All right, now, interesting thing about that. Um, we look at the ban list as a whole here with the expectations that we're, we're kind of looking at here. I mean, you're seven, eight weeks since power has initially set in. You have, what I'm being told here, a global market that has not had time to fully receive all of the product, which might actually be the honest truth in terms of contributing to this. Because if you're a company and you're looking at like the global supply of this set and you're like, well, you know, whether or not we chose to allocate it, we said that print waves would come for this. You know, you had the flip side of the equation literally a year ago here in the US. That's why I keep bringing up, you know, like your market circulation here was like, Konami's not gonna go ahead and, you know, destroy value on the tins when they haven't even circulated all of them through today's market. All right, that, that doesn't make any sense. It'd be like, hey, you know, thanks for giving us all of your money. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to ban half of the things within the product this year. Ha ha, suckers, thanks. And there are a lot of people in the comment section that are going, Konami would exactly do that, Robbie. Don't give us that judgmental Konami load of crap. Hey, man. So, is this information true? I don't know. I, I don't know if, if the... UK is truly going through a supply issue. Uh, I don't know. I wanted to make this video today to bring up the fact that if this information ends up being true, it all kind of lines up into place. You know, I, as a company, once again, I'm going to reiterate the same thing here. As a company that you might not have circulated all of your product for, you know, you promised X product, you don't want to go through and you don't want to shoot yourself in the leg per se, create a bad reputation with your stores when you promise them X product. Now, the interesting thing here is, is YCS Minneapolis is the 22nd of next month. Um, the question is, do we get a list before Minneapolis or after Minneapolis? You know, I, that's the other interesting thing is like, you, you've been through how many YCSs? At this point in time, I mean, literally, as you're heading into the next set here, you're going to see Darkwing Blast already touching down here into the States. Like, <laughs> think about that, ladies and gentlemen. Darkwing Blast will just touch down literally a couple of days beforehand. Like, in a release date is the 21st of October, and then you get Minneapolis slammed down your throat literally two days after in terms of the event. Hmm. That means that'll be two whole core sets 
that we haven't had a thing. Now, I've also heard interesting speculation that Konami's waiting to clean up post-Magnificent Mavens, which I don't know why we couldn't have had a ban list up until the release of, you know, Power, make a list there, and then after Mavens does its thing, you clean up a list. The fact that you've you've had this very long-term, you know, showcase here um, does definitely show that, uh, some interesting speculation there. But I, I was I was also enjoying reading the comment talking about, like, Ashizu's cards are, like, the first cards in a very long time that, like, immediately warrant, you know, an emergency ban. Because I, I, I need to, like, put this back on the table here for you guys. You do understand that, like, where we are right now in power scaling of the format, we jump up one more notch. Like, you think that the current format is a pain in the butt to deal with? Unfortunately, things get a whole lot worse. Like, the good thing was with Darkwing Blast, you get the Beasted cards, so you at least get some cute little interaction points to mess around against the terror that is that tier zero deck. You also will have Naturia storming into the fray, so you'll get a little bit of a chance to see some little differences there. But with no ban list, I mean, I guess that means that we get to keep Mystic Mine, right? Right? Because having Mystical of the Mine running around is uh, is just that. So, kind of going forward here. If Power is having circulation issues outside the U.S., I mean, actually, speaking of, if I recall correctly, I heard stories, I think it was Australia had issues getting their power of the elements imported as well. I think it was two weeks behind release, if I recall. Maybe it was maybe it was a structure deck I'm thinking of here. Uh, Might have been Fallen of Albaz. But I've heard a couple of like release horror stories out of Australia that have been really far behind. So that would leave the UK and Australia as two particular regions that have had issues importing product. And if, once again, if power's having issues, then that means that you're going to see issues with probably Darkwing Blast as well. Unless, I, I'm actually not sure how the tin situation went in the UK. I haven't heard any horror stories. My friend that got all of this German product and didn't say anything bad. Actually, multiple people I know that got German product didn't say anything bad. There's no allocation issues with that. Uh, I'm just kind of curious to know if Darkwing Blast will have the same issues that Power's having. You know, where you, you're rolling up into the winter seasons here with potential product delays. It's it's interesting to see, like, on the global market of things here. Because, you know, the U.S., you only get to see, like, one little snapshot of, like, how our particular market is. You don't get to see, like, how Konami EU is doing things. And it's not like there's a lot of vocal people that talk about this kinds of stuff, you know. Um, and it's perfectly understandable. But meanwhile, on the flip side here in the U.S., if something goes wrong, it circulates through the community, right? Like, you literally blink and, oh, my gosh, you know, like, how dare this go wrong here? And it's made very, very known. So... Product delays and allocation issues look like they are contributing to the particular back end of that. So, I don't know. I, I always think it's interesting to see these particular things. But the bad news is, the longer we delay a ban list, that means the longer we're going to have to deal with the Ashizu cards. The longer that the potential tier menace is going to stick around. Which, I mean, if you're already rolling into 2023, you're already looking at this game and you're already going, uh. I, I've read a good chunk of interesting comments as of late that we're talking about. There's been a lot of people that just have taken a step back from playing this game, but they're still collecting, which kind of where I am a little bit at the moment. I, I, I've been wanting to play Shangri-La or the uh, Shatri La deck a lot. Like, that deck looks so fun. I, I think it's going to be the reason why I start grinding really hard just play testing again, because that deck looks a lot of fun. But the amount of people right now just kind of in limbo that are just collecting instead of not playing, it's a little bit higher than I remember seeing in past formats. It's not a bad thing. They're still involved within the game. You know, you don't have to play competitively or really play this game at all to stay involved in it. I think it's one thing that you always got to, like, point out to people, you know, People take breaks from formats, all right? Some formats aren't very fun. Others are particularly interesting, sure. They'll, they'll make you want to engage and have fun. But from where we're kind of sitting right now, that's the way it's looking right now, ladies and gentlemen. So product delays, I think, might be contributing to why we're not getting a ban list. So what do you guys think? Please, leave a comment demo. Tell me you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you.
Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.